I hate Isabel the most. Top, Isabel, top Isabel. two hated. <laughs> top two hated for me is uh, Isabel and Banjo. Is, is, Isabel I, can be annoying. Isabel can be annoying. I'll be honest. I don't like her down B. She's not good. Just, just annoying. But anyway, I want to see what Jeja does in this matchup. I, I'm always curious, like what a character like Kirby does against a really good sword character. And right now, man, Jeja's showing what Kirby can do. Jeez, destroyed. <laughs> This aggressive Kirby, man, he just completely caught Yez off guard, it seems. Nice, he's waiting for that landing there from Yez. Oh, he called out that roll, but he didn't do anything. Doesn't matter, though, he still gets the parry into the F-Tilt. You know something that I never see Jeja actually do, though? He never uses the copy ability. Oh, uh, I think it's super situational. I know, like, Kirby with, with copy oh. Monado Arts is pretty ridiculous. Oh, oh there's that armor of the ether. Mm -hmm. That was a good call, too. We talked about how, like, if Kirby is in a really tough situation against any opponent, it's going to be against Ike because that's a lot of knockback you'll take. But from the call out, Aether is oh. big damage. What a call oh, here. It doesn't get the oh, spike, man. though. What a big play. Dang. From Yes. That was actually yeah, that was super close for Yes to steal that stock. But still running with this percent a little bit. They already done a great job bringing this back. And there's a chase down with the up air. Yep. Another one. Kirby uh, uh, really is not good enough to avoid that easily. And, and uh, yes, seeing that is, Kirby is. You have all those multiple jumps. I think that Jeja Jeja was a little bit too greedy trying to come back center stage because he knows if I am off stage from the ledge. I might get hit by Ike back air or Ike nair, and I don't want to give Yes that, but that was too greedy, and that gave Yes the upper what he needed to have this lead. But oh. Jaja, Jaja with a great parry in the back air reaction out of the shield. Yes, though, he's not slowing down. A lot of momentum right now. Oh, is he going for it? Did he get the footstool? Oh my god, Jaja pulling out all the tricks for game one. Dude, not even just the inhale there was so smart. Getting the inhale, getting the footstool, and then maneuvering around the A yes is up B yeah. so he wouldn't get suicide spiked. And you can tell Yes had, the last opportunity was Yes knew that okay, he got me. My last chance effort is to hit him with Aether, and even then JJ JJ still was able to maneuver around him. So good stuff. I thought I felt that that was earned, honestly. That was definitely earned. Yeah, that was really smart. And uh man, I think everyone forgets Kirby can do that until they go for it <laughs> that one time. So nice, great stuff to Jeja taking that first game. I imagine Yes just really wants to try to overwhelm Jeja this time. Yeah. Not even give him opportunity to even go for something like that. I mean, giving, speaking oh. of giving him opportunities here, you can tell that Yez is kind of respecting the space here at the ledge. He gave him a little bit of space to go for the back air, and he even gave oh. him a little bit of space for the neutral air, but finally, on the return of the stage, man, he will hit this man with Aether, and that's big knockback and damage. Dude, can we just talk about how how easy Yez made that zero to death look against Jezra just now? That was great. Uh, hold up. Speaking nice. of... Oh, what a trade! Yeah, that was a good trade. That's that was good. That always was good. Yes, worth it. Yep. Always worth it. With the stock lead. Yes, saying, "Hey, you want to go for suicide kills? I got those two, man." That was good too. Here, specifically, this forces Jaja Jaja to let go of the ledge because if he doesn't, you lose invincibility, and then the ether will actually spike you. It's the parry on the first hit, but not the landing here. Yeah, he's looking for an opportunity. You can see that he even angles shield so he can avoid getting shield poked by down air or by forward air. And that's what usually JJ JJ might be trying to do here is hit him for forward air so you can get him off the stage and then go for opportunities to force your opponent to burn the jump and then potentially steal stocks with down air. A nice quick draw oh. here. He just sticks right under him. Gets that easy up air and knock. That game too was solidly in Yes's favor. 
I don't even think Jeja actually killed him a single time. The only stock that Yes lost was due to his own suicide of B. That was a voluntary stock. He's like, you know what? I volunteered this stock as tribute. I will burn it. It is fine. I am winning. Yeah, I really love his uh, use of reverse ether off stage. Either to get the suicide of bees or just to like get the last hit to get like the extra knockback on stage. Yeah. And it's good too because like I said earlier, you can tell that it forced Jeja Jeja to let go of the ledge because once you lose ledge invincibility, you will get spiked by the Aether. So it's good for like yes to understand, okay, this is how my opponent is playing around me. This is how I adapt to it. Even when Jeja Jeja won the other game where he inhaled them, you can tell that even though Yes was potentially gonna lose a stock, he was looking to take his opponent out first. All right, so Jaja is opting to go uh, FD here. Also, we should fix the names. They're backwards. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens here. I honestly oh, don't wait, blame him for going. Yeah, you put... Yeah, yeah. I thought they were fine the first time. Oh, I see what it is, yeah. Anyway, but... Um, yeah, this stage is good only because... You don't want to. Oh, did you get this? Wow. Yeah, he did. Doesn't he did. Matter. Damn. It was all positioning against JJ. It was specifically where he was, and that opportunity around the ledge. Yeah, I was trying to say that playing on a non-platform stage with Ike is probably better, just because how much earlier I can kill you. But he yeah, has just saying, I, I don't need to kill you at the top. I'll just, I'll just suicide spike you again. Not even suicide spike. Just raw spike with the ether. Oh yeah, Yez is definitely adapted to the. The ledge game that Jeja is going for. Yeah. Yeah, it's such a rough matchup for Kirby. Nice. Yep, he's going to stay away from the ledge. He doesn't want to deal with the inhale anymore. And he knows too. All he has to do is let go of the ledge just a little bit. Enough for a distance where you can still get back or neutral air. And then you can still punish Jeja on the landing. Especially if it goes for a roll of get up. What a what a long arc there from forward right here. And then it puts Jeja off the stage. Down at oh. right before the hitbox comes out from the final cutter. Damn. That was beautiful from Yes. Perfect timing on the down air. And uh dude, this is looking like game one just never happened. Jeja is looking really lost in this match right now. And every little mistake he does, Yes is just right there to punish. Wow, well, that was not even actually... caring about the stone either. That was good too, because Jeja can actually catch either Aether or Quick Draw with stone, but the way that Yez was just going to let go of that trigger there, just to make sure he hits the stone or possibly the ledge, was definitely worth, even with the stock lead. Back air, missed opportunity here. Not true with how far Jeja was. Look at the control that Yez has here. Finally, final cutter will hit Yez a little bit. Jeja has to be careful when landing towards stage, though. If he lands too aggressive at center, that's an up air. Yep, right back to the ledge safely. Great use of that ether from Yez. And, yeah, Jeja, he's just trying to find a stock. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Yez is everywhere he needs to be off stage. Perfect punish on that down B. Jeja, like, not falling asleep at the wheel, looks like. Not even prepared to tech that at all. And, and that's a heavy three stock on your on your counter pick <laughs> coming from Jeja. I mean, we talked about it. It's a rough matchup for Curry. Like the minute the Curry hits hit twice by Ike Nair or like anything at this point, man, Kirby's already in such a tough spot. And that'll be it, I think. I was that Was that already was that already uh three one? I didn't notice. Yeah, I didn't notice. <laughs> that was so fast. Oh, hold on. Isn't it best of five? Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be best of five. What are you guys doing? Come on, y'all. Dang, Jeja's like, all right, you got it. You got the set, yes. I got three stocks. That means you won two times. Let me find out for you guys.
Mm, why is it best at three, suddenly? Did someone mess up the bracket? Yeah, usually uh, it's a, it's a, it's supposed to be best of five. Yeah, usually winners semis and losers semis is best of five. I don't know if you guys are like new to this stream or even sim in general, but uh, yeah, it's always been best of five for top eight, like since the beginning of time. <laughs> Anyways, while y'all wait. Yeah, I knew I didn't count wrong. I was like, wait a minute. There's yeah, no way like, he won this week games. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, like, there's no way he already, like, I didn't even think it was it was 3-1 three, three, or 3-0 three, oh, at all. I was like, something's up. Something's up. Anyways, segue. Uh, you know, definitely what's up here is no contest. Uh, monthly sub tournament here presented by 2G Gaming. Of course, if you ever wanted to be a sub or looking to sub or have your prime sub, you're not going to give it away for a free entry. Definitely consider giving it to 2G Gaming this month, of course. Signups are now open. You guys can register at smash.gg forward slash 2GGNC for no contest, of course. Sign up now, definitely with a $100 plot, more than what you're used to here at MSM Online. A lot of issues lately. I don't know what it is, but you know we're gonna see what it is here. Of course, finally game five between Yaz and Jagger. Thank you guys so much for the wait. Well, game four. Technically. Game four. Yeah, game four. Oops. I mean, it'd be cool if it got to game five after you know Jedi got three stocked. But it, anyway, this might be good because you know <laughs> since <laughs> since uh Yaz like had a. At least like five, six minutes of not playing, he, he's not super warmed up after three stocking him anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> Jedi yeah. has his. Uh... Oh no, he tried to go for a spot dodge. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't want the copy. Also, I, I, I can hear the I can hear the music now. I'm so happy. I was gonna <laughs> I say, never hear, I can always, never it's hear. It's always been on your end. It's always been on your end. You're always like, I don't hear anything. I'm like, dude, I'm pretty sure it's on your end. Well, I don't know. De default Discord has the volume all the way down, though. It's weird. Anyway, this song is amazing, too. Oh, nice hip tilt. Oh, okay, no punish from Jeja, but the anti air up smash. Damn, that was a huge call out. Even caught the bad DI from Yez as well. He's going to try to stall his recovery as long as possible. Yep. Yeah. Good opportunity too. You don't you don't want to give Ike that opportunity Ooh. for dash attack. Wow. The raw dash attack. Yes, it's like I know you're not gonna block. I'm just gonna run right into your face with this dash attack. Okay, going for the reverse inhale. See if we can get some early kills off stage. But uh, yeah, still, Yes has not forgotten about that uh that inhale from the first stock or the first not game. At all. He's he's not giving it to him anymore. Oh no, yes. Okay. Watch yourself. Yeah, good. Good for him yeah. to go for directional air dodge in towards the stage. Just to avoid more up tilts and possibly up tilt a back air. Yeah, this is really smart from Yez. Could have been really bad for him if he got stand off stage in that situation. Nice. Especially without a double jump. That's a forward throw. Yeah. And good for JJ. Look at him. He's holding center stage because he knows Yez might have to make the approach here, but he finally breaks through neutral air to back air, looking for the landing. Good for him. You know what would be crazy? Too. It would be crazy if Yez just counters the stone and then JJ dies. Oh my god. I feel like that's good for JJ. Like, he goes for stone just because, like, it's really... It can be difficult to react to, but also you don't have to worry about getting hit when you're in stone because you're invincibility. And if you time your stone properly, you can cancel it out to make the recovery, so... Definitely not an easy Kirby trick. Oh, that oh. F so... So this powerful. this man empty hopping. Yeah, Kirby's so light, he's gonna fall victim to that pretty easily. Oh, man, he's really been trying to get this dash attack 
linger your hitbox to work at the ledge, but Yez is not falling for it at all. Okay, gets the shield poke back air. Nice. Oh, oh that would be clean. What a great air dodge from JJ. Still, JJ in a really rough spot here. He started off really strong. Going for it again. Mm, okay. Nice. Still able to. It looked like he might have DI towards the stage just so that he can avoid getting spiked. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. Still nice. taking a lot of damage though. Yeah, 143. JJ looking for a possible backer here. Looking for the landing on the quick draw. Backer out of shield. Not to say it yet. Oh! oh! You gotta do the eruption, right? Okay, down smash, yeah. <laughs> eruption takes too long. Damn. Damn. What a way to close out this taste. Like, alright, you got that You got that little break. You know, you got that little breather when you thought it was best to have three. It doesn't matter, bro. Hold this shield break. Get out of here.